The next step is to remove a 9 volt battery and uh, uh, provide a power supply uh, exactly from uh, the uh, plus minus 15 volt one. Uh, so for that uh, we need to build a falling circuit. Uh, so the laser uh, is going to be fed uh, from the plus, 5, plus 15 volt line through a 470 ohm resistor that will give it about uh, 20 milliamps uh, so it will be uh, lit quite well uh, but now for the uh, potentiometers we need uh, on the output uh, of, a, of them uh, plus minus 10 volts instead of plus minus 15 volts uh, so how can we achieve that? Um, we can uh, uh, provide uh, two resistors of the same uh, uh, resistance uh, in series with uh, these two uh, 10k potentiometers and our goal is to have uh, plus 10 volts here and uh, minus 10 volts here. Um, that means that uh, there will be the same current uh, going along the whole circuit. Two 10k potentiometers uh, that uh, are connected in parallel are equivalent to one 5k uh, potentiometer. So uh, what we need to have is the voltage drop of 5 volts across this resistor. is going to provide the same current as a, a 20 volt drop over a 5k resistor so it's going to be like this and uh, uh, this 5k 20 volts 5 volts so our resistor is supposed to be 1.25k resistor um, I have uh, in stock 1k and uh, 220 ohm resistors so this is what I'm going to use uh, so here is the circuit uh, that uh, that implements uh, what we've just written on paper uh, so there are, uh, there are there is a resistor then going to the laser and uh, uh, there are two resistors in series on each side going to the potentiometers uh, so now let's uh, turn it on and check what the voltages are going to be So we can see that our potence, uh, that our laser lights up. Uh, of course, it's not being uh, operated right now. Uh, there is actually nothing going to the signal line at this point. But uh, we are going to measure the voltages So right now the uh, multimeter is connected to this potentiometer. It's in the middle position and uh, well because of uh, some uh, imprecision uh, it's in the middle position it's not showing exactly zero volt but that's good enough. So I'm going to rotate it and uh, all the way now uh, counterclockwise it's showing minus 10.1 volt uh, that's uh, not bad and uh, in the other side we are going to have 10.3 volts oh well uh, this is uh, uh, now what we have we have a full range from minus 10 plus 10 maybe a little bit more but probably not a big deal um,
and so the next step is to actually connect uh, the output of the potentiometers uh, into the signal line and see uh, how well uh, it uh, moves the laser. Now because we have plus minus 10 volts we should be able to get the full range uh, for the uh, for moving of the mirrors. Uh, so let's check that. <laughs> 